coffee, energy drinks, energy shots, soda. We're surrounded by these products everywhere and many are marketed to teens every day. They taste good and some contain caffeine to give us a boost to help us meet school demands and after school activities. The advertisements of these products make caffeine seem harmless and effective. What more do we need to know? Just enough caffeine can give you energy if you're tired, but no more than 100 milligrams of caffeine, which is around one small cup of coffee, should be consumed by teens every day. Though it can help focus the mind and energize the body, too much caffeine can be a serious problem. Early signs of too much caffeine can be jitters, nervousness, increased heart rate, and even upset stomach. Be safe by being aware of the amount of caffeine you take in over a day so you don't have too much. There are so many drinks and foods that contain caffeine but don't outright say it, so let's take a look at a few sources of caffeine that teens are most likely to consume. Energy drinks contain a wide range of caffeine. This caffeine comes in the form of stimulants with unusual names. Although you might see these listed on the label, the amount of caffeine may not be listed. Energy drinks aren't required to report how much caffeine is in their drinks or put warning labels. You should really think twice about how many energy drinks you're drinking. Energy drinks are sometimes used to replace sports drinks, but this actually has the opposite effect of what was probably intended. Sports drinks are for replacing nutrients and electrolytes lost while exercising and keeping you hydrated. Energy drinks contain stimulants that are not optimal for hydration, so avoid making that switch. Did you know that some sodas have caffeine in them? Some even have the same amount as a cup of coffee. Not only is the high caffeine a problem, but there's not much known about the combination of caffeine with the sugars and artificial flavors. Drinking soda has other negative effects on the body too. Enjoying a soda from time to time isn't terrible, but it shouldn't be a part of your daily diet and shouldn't be used to hydrate while doing sports. Coffee these days comes in many more delicious forms. Not only do these drinks pack in caffeine, they have added sugars and fats. Because they taste so good, it's easy to drink a lot. Try to limit any of these. Tea is one of my favorite drinks. Whether iced or warm, I enjoy the taste. There are different types of tea and some can have more caffeine than others. Herbal teas usually contain little to no caffeine, but English, green, and black teas usually contain higher amounts of caffeine. Overall, tea is probably the healthiest source of caffeine for teens, but it should still be limited. Did you know that chocolate has some caffeine in it? Although the amount of caffeine found in chocolate isn't very high, it can add to your daily amount of caffeine, sugar, and fat. Think twice about how much chocolate you eat. You could be inching towards your caffeine limit. Be aware of all the different sources of caffeine and try not to overdo it. Hopefully this will help you make the best decision on what is the best fuel for your body and mind.